Okay, hello and uh, welcome to Rhino Ramps International 89. Um, there are four things today. The first is if one looks very carefully at this starter relay, it looks like someone's been doing some really sloppy arc welding to either side. And that's because, remember when they broke the key ignition? Well, it was 15 below out here. And this thing started up, but when I installed at the intersection, right down there, in fact, yeah, it wouldn't, I couldn't turn the keychain enough. I don't know why it wouldn't turn off on days when it's too warm, rather than days it's too cold, but that's just my luck. And uh, two people just went right around me. Yeah, Minnesota, nice, my butt. But anyway, so I figured out, you know, it's, it's got gas, it's got spark, the only thing wrong is the ignition's not engaging. And I said, how difficult can this thing be to, uh, to hotwire? The answer is not much. Just took two screwdrivers, parked them together, and started it right up. And it warmed up, and now it works fine. Problem fixed. Okay, this next bit I find actively interesting. Do you remember the episode when, uh, well, actually this is before Rhino Ramps International started. There was really choppy vacuum, and I said it needed interior engine, but it still does. But I went to check the vacuum. Connect the vacuum from the distributor, as they really do, so the ion completely smooth. And here's why it's because this thing is just basically blow buying so badly into the uh, engine interior here that it was just pounding in pressure waves on the uh, into the vacuum system and acting like a you know a titanically huge vacuum leak. So, now the one on the left is a PCB valve, which only pushes, and the one on the right is a line from it, which only pulls. So I just disconnected it, and uh, plugged the other with the Golf T, and I'll tell you what, I'll bet you this vacuum is a whole bunch smoother. We'll see. Oh, well, so much for my theories. <laughs> I'm not sure that's really any better. Since I uh, don't know if I can do any better with the mixture than I did last time, may just leave that. Okay, I said there were four things, and here's the fourth. We're getting, getting a squeal from the front of the engine, which is worse whenever we pour gas in to start it, and worse when we run the defroster, so it made me think it's the air conditioning. But I can't find any evidence to support that. So we're doing this as an experiment. This isn't attached to anything critical. So we're just going to see if this fixes it. You might be opposed to this uh, redneck type repair, and so am I. But I uh, don't have my shop yet, and it is Minnesota winter. It is literally cold. So for the nonce, this is our first attempt at the repair. It's a wrong water pump. Okay, everybody, keep between the ditches.